Hey guys, Dwayne here. This is going to be a quick video to address a problem that you might be having because I know I was having it, and that is trying to get your really nice camera, like in my case, I'm using a Panasonic G85 going through a Cam Elgato cam link into the computer. Great camera, perfect video, looks awesome. Want to use that to, uh, you know, do like Skype calls or Zoom US calls or, or one of those things. And I also want to use my really nice mic. I have this this Audio-Technica BP40, which is a really nice, I like it, uh, broadcast microphone, does really great room uh, noise rejection. It's very, uh, I think it's super cardioid pattern. Works awesome. And But you try to connect all this together and monitor and monitor the person you're talking to and run everything together, you run into problems. I tr Initially, what I did is I, I did it without the headphones, without listening to the microphone, and I just used uh, earpiece to listen to the caller. And it worked okay, except when you're using a mic like this, it's really nice to be able to hear everything. You know, you wanna be able to, to monitor what you're doing. And that created a whole colossal string of problems. Um, and maybe I'll make another video to go into that. If you're interested in that and some of the things I tried, because initially I was just running it right into the camera and then things went downhill from there. But I couldn't get past the delay. When I would do it, and the first couple times I tried it, you know, people were like, hey, you're out of sync. It's out of sync. And it was really frustrating. So I was on, went on a quest to try and find the solution to just delay my audio. And, you know, maybe I'm just search impaired, you know, and if, maybe if you found this video, you might be too, because it, I couldn't find anything. I don't know how many times I, how do I sync my audio in Skype? Nothing. Nothing. I mean, it's, it was nothing that helped me. Finally, after a couple of months of trying different things, I picked a search term that recommended a piece of software, not for the sync issue, but for something different. And I went ahead and tried it and it fixed my problem. And that's what this is going to be about today. This is about the Rogue Amoeba uh, audio hijack application and their suite of, suite of things to include loopback that solved my problem and made my life easier. Uh, hope, I'll run through how I did it. Hopefully this helps you and hopefully you'll stop uh, beating your head against the wall. Okay, the magic that made all of this work was the uh, Rogue Amoeba Audio Hijack application. So to go find that, just go to rogueamoeba.com and when it pops up, you'll see they have all kinds of cool applications, but the one that we want, the one that we're looking for that's gonna fix everything on the syncing issues is Audio Hijack. I also highly encourage you to get loopback, but uh, Audio Hijack is the, uh, the main thing that makes all this, makes all the magic work. Um, you can test it if you want to, just to uh, make sure that it does work for you. Uh, that's what I did at first and was able to make sure that it worked. Uh, when you scroll down and or do around and click purchase, it'll give you a couple options. Now, when I was looking at it, I uh, uh, initially I was just gonna buy that. But uh, also, I everything I read, the loopback application is really critical. I always thought it was incredibly expensive for what you get, 70 bucks um, to, to get it. You can buy it bundled together for 130 as you can see right over here. Uh, I, what I went ahead and did, because I figured what the hell, is I just did the ultimate podcast bundle where you get Audio Hijack, Loopback, Ferengo, Vision, all together, and you save over 50 U.S. dollars when you buy all four apps in a one powerful podcast package. Um, anyways, Fusion is our Fusion is actually kind of interesting. I don't really use it that much. It's a uh, it's, it's an audio editing type application. Um, it works okay. <clears throat> um, I'm doing some different ways to do it, and I'm editing my podcast in Logic now, so it's not really you know it, whatever. So, but it, I mean, it, whatever. Good to have the Ferengo thing as a sound generator thing. I haven't even used it yet. But uh, so if you're trying to save a couple of bucks and you just want to get the thing to work, then I would recommend that you get the loopback audio um, and the audio hijack bundle. So moving on from there, whenever you get audio hijack, and I'll just go ahead and open it up right now, pops up in this cool little window. I have a few things that I've already created. This will all be blank when you start. So I've created uh, sessions for my live streams, for podcasting. Uh, and what I'll do just to set it up is we'll just do a new session. So we'll hit this and we'll just choose a blank, blank session. I'll go ahead and make it a little bit bigger so that we can see it all. 
And what you're going to do, the first thing you do on this, it's kind of a blank canvas, is you grab your input device. You can also use it from an app, but for what we're talking about doing, we'll do that. We'll do it from an um, input device. And you pick, you go down and you pick what you want. Um, I'm going to use the mixer I'm using, or the interface I'm using is a Allen & Heath ZI-10. Uh, really nice preamps um, and actually a pretty good value for what you get. It's a four-channel audio interface so that you actually can get the the inputs, four separate discrete inputs for each thing. And we're not really talking about that right now. If you got one, want more information, just put it in the comments below. Uh, what I On this, I'll make sure that you put the left and right channels as one. Otherwise, you might record in, uh, or it might send it out only one channel, uh, left audio, which is really annoying. Okay, so when I delved into this the first time, because I hadn't found anything that said how to do this, I was looking around going, well, where the heck is this going to be? I was looking for built-in effects. And f the answer what you're looking for is in advanced. And it's this one right here, Sync Precise Audio Delay. Just drag that over. You can see on here whenever you drag things over, it creates a line that connects it. you got to be a little careful because if you add, let's say we'll just add another. We'll add another device. Let's say we were going to add another. We'll do a ZI and we'll just say the channel 2, right? just for the second input, but you can see that it's connected this delay to it. So if you have multiple things in there, just be careful you follow where these lines are going because it could have a uh, route, out, you know, basically mess up your audio path. So um, I'll go ahead and just delete this, but just be careful or be cautious of that. Delete this block so that, you know, like how it just bounced out of the way, so that you um, know what uh, what's going on. And then what I do on this, is I take the output device and I use it or I send it to one of these loopback things. And I'll jump into loopback in a minute. I made a loopback uh, virtual audio device just called LB Mic Audio. And then I use that. That's what I pick for Skype, uh, Zoom, you know, even uh, OBS. That's the microphone that I tell it to, to grab. Now, what you do on this is you click in and you can adjust the the delays. Now, the way I figured it out, for me, it's 140 milliseconds. That's the sweet spot that makes everything work. Now, the way I figured this out is I, in QuickTime on my Mac, I just recorded uh, a session with video, and I just basically said one, two, you know, one, two, three, clap, use that as a sync, took it into Final Cut Pro, and synced up to see where the delay was until I got the audio to sync up with the, uh, with the, the video. Um, and I, unfortunately when I did it, I started at 400 milliseconds. I don't know why, cause it seemed like the delay was a lot more. So it took me a lot of iterations to get down to the right answer. If I would have started it at, uh, you know, a hundred, I would have been a lot closer off, but that's, that's it, right? That is a solution. And then you, you tell your app. So like if you're going to use zoom, let's say just zoom us real quick, I'll try to pull this up, pull this over here and I'll go into settings. And whenever you uh, use your mic, you just tell it to use that loopback audio interface. Now you can see right now there's nothing happening because I don't have it turned on, so nothing is routing. Here, let me move this out of the way. Nothing is routing. So whenever I go down here, and this is the start button, you can see it stopped right now, and it's telling you, uh, you know, the ZI-10 to the LB mic. And as soon as you hit start, you're going to see these orange lines pop up and you'll see the waveform kind of going. And now you see in this particular application, it's actually showing that the audio is moving. It's routing the audio through that. You got to be careful because if you don't forget, if you forget to turn it on, then your application is not going to have any auto, but that fixes it. That that's the magic fix. And that saved, I'm going to go ahead and shut this off. That saved my bacon. So hopefully that helps you. Now, before I go, one of the last thing I'm going to show you is uh, what I do on the live stream, geez, I almost hit delete session, is I also have created uh, a setup to where I can record what's going on. So I have my ZI coming in. I have the 140 millisecond delay. I have it shut off right now because I was doing something earlier. I'll go ahead and turn that block on. I, I've added this little section in here to record the audio, and you can set when you do that, you can set uh, how you want it to record. I totaled it to record wave 24-bit and just set the audio auto sample rate so that it samples with whatever I have my device set to. And uh, uh, then basically some meters, meters, and then back out to that device. I've also set up a thing to where I capture this 
device, which this is another loopback thing I'll show you in a second, I can record that. And then this is for what I'm using for caller audio. So like if I, if um, right, what I'm using it for right now is I have live callers that call into the live show via telephone and I use FaceTime audio for that. So I dial into the phone, use my computer to, to make the phone call through the, through my iPhone. And that's how I pull it in. And I can also record that separately and it routes that audio to a loopback caller audio virtual audio device. Now, before I go, let me just close out of these. I'm going to open up loopback and all loopback is, it's a, a little application that creates basically virtual audio devices. And I have the one I was telling you about a minute just now was the uh, caller audio. So as you can see, the caller audio has Discord, FaceTime, Skype, and Zoom US, and it pulls all those applications into a audio device called Caller Audio, which is what I was talking about a minute ago. And then I have my uh, a loopback audio, app audio, which I use this for OBS to grab all the applications that are doing audio so that uh, I can basically route that and get desktop audio, kind of equivalent, to uh, into OBS. And then I just have these, these other devices that are basically just blank that I route into it. And that is the fix, guys. That is what turns around and makes everything work. Uh, makes everything work on the uh, on on for Skype and Zoom and, and using your nice camera with uh, your your digital interface or your your HDMI input. Um, and uh, I, I like I mentioned earlier, I spent way too much time trying to do that. So hey, I hope this helps you out. If you were struggling with this, hopefully this is the solution. I apologize that it's not a cheap solution and you have to spend some money, but you know, if you're trying to beat your head against the wall trying to do this, it'll be <laughs> you'll be happy that this works. Okay. On that, uh, if you like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you like this type of thing, uh, add it in the comments. Let me know. Um, I'm going to start trying to make some more tutorials on the channel to help people out to try to uh, at least save you guys some time from the crap that I had to go through trying to figure this stuff out. On that. Uh, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Take care.